Welcome back to the show. Okay, I'm going to give you a list of items, and you have to tell me where you think you might find them. Broken furniture, mm -hmm. old tires, okay. plastic bags. Maybe in the trash, maybe? That's what I would have thought, too, but you know what? Don't do that yet, because there are some artists here locally that have found a home for them in an exhibit. Wow. Well, Joan and Kathy, you join us to tell us more about how we are taking these items and making them into beautiful art and actually in an exhibit. Uh, I think this uh, really demonstrates the creative side of our community. Uh, we have people who can take, as you can see right here, a uh, dog food bag and turn it into a shopping bag so that you're not taking plastic bags from the store, you're taking a reusable bag. And we have here, Kathy Wright, a birdhouse right. that was made from what? From plastic bags. From oh, really? Could you believe it? The bags that you put in the bin at the grocery store right. are sent to a company that processes them. And actually, they make flooring and pillars and lots of construction items. But they make these little birdhouses just to promote their items. Oh, my gosh. So that was once the plastic bags you take to the grocery store. Isn't that too cool? And so it's, it's, it's art, and it's also reusable. Everything I have on came from a secondhand shop, except my underwear. <laughs> that was awesome. This is an Evan Pecan bag. Those are that are into labels, mm -hmm. and Liz Claiborne boots, and Harvey Bernard a suit for ten dollars. And Joan, the scarf is a dollar. Are you? Can I buy that? I'm yeah, two dollars. Two dollars. Tucson Clean and Beautiful <laughs> donation. That's incredible. Okay, now we need to talk about the festival coming up. Great. Tell us a little bit about that, ladies. Okay, the festival is about two things. It's about trash and money. We have too much trash. We spend a lot of municipal dollars to manage that trash. And with just a little change in behavior, we will send less trash to the landfill. Nobody wants a landfill in their backyard. So let's not fill it. The festival has lots of ideas about what to do with your trash besides putting it in the garbage. Money, we don't have enough. Most of us. I don't. Do you? Nope. I could use some more. <laughs> so at the festival, we have resources, information on how you can have the things you want for pennies on the dollar. And do we, do we know who's going to be exhibiting or who's going to have those ideas waiting for us? Uh, we have several companies. We have um, the folks from Mikey Block who make building materials using as one of their ingredients styrofoam. So you can drop off your styrofoam and Mikey Block. Uh, we have Fairfax Industries who makes cinder blocks and binds them with, are you ready for this, buffalo grass. <laughs> I don't even think I know what that is. It's an invasive species. And there are volunteers out every weekend pulling buffalo grass. Oh, okay. And then we turn it into something And then useful. we turn it into something positive. Wow. And, and I want to, you know what I'm excited for is the fashion show. The fashion show, Who's absolutely. Who's going to be doing that? The, uh, we have, what, four uh, companies. Uh, one is Butterfly, which is a um, secondhand shop that benefits Teen Challenge Girls program. So the money goes directly. So if you go to Butterfly and you buy something, the money goes directly to a <coughs> youth program within our community. Uh, we have secondhand shops all over our, our community. I have done some tours for people of secondhand shops. I am probably a secondhand junkie. <laughs> That's what I call myself. And I think that it's extremely uh, exciting to be able to go out and go to these secondhand shops and be reusing things. And many things are brand new in these shops that people donate, right, Kathy? Right. It's incredible. Have the tags. The original tags on yeah. them, a lot of them. And then you're going to have a raffle. And also what I think is really exciting is since it is over the lunch break, you're going to have food available, right? Right. Yeah. Excellent. We will have, um, we will have a, a wood-fired pizza. Mm. Uh, we will have ice cream. And our tamale vendor just backed out, but we'll find another one. I have a feeling you won't have <laughs> we trouble finding another one. promise tamales, we'll have tamales. <laughs> well, ladies, yeah. thank you so much. We're so looking forward to seeing these exhibits and the fashion show. And Green Pathways will take place this Saturday at 2525 East Broadway from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, you can call 792-9930 or log on to bearessentialnews.com.